Yeah, so this is going to be the content of that. Like first we are going to see about why object oriented programming and why should we use uh, LV whoops and differentiation between that conventional uh, whoops language. And then we are going to see some uh, simple uh, things how to create a simple class in a returns and dynamic over dynamic uh, dispatch and uh, override. Mm -hmm. Then we'll be seeing some example codes for the LV groups along with the use cases. Uh, why we need to learn an OOPS? Uh, actually, by attending this session, you will get an ad idea for stepping into development of the LV groups. So, which is written in a uh, greater ease and uh, it can be performed with more stability and it can be simplifies the maintenance. Yes, we are going to see like how to uh, start with the whoops. It's a going to be a basic one. Okay, then, okay, then. Mm, so why object oriented programming is with the like uh, so if it is now I'm just going to tell about the advantages like uh, it will be more uh, scalable and it can be maintenance maintainable and it can be easy to debug. So it's well defined responsibilities like with lab and class SSS with developer. So here with uh, some of the things what we are going to handle is like a lab a class inside a class will have an attributes as well as with methods and accessor. Uh, then we'll have an inheritance. So based on this, we'll be uh, maintaining this uh, class. Uh, what is an object? So the data and an action that are grouped together into an own uh, content unit called as an object. Uh, here in uh, lab view, we'll have it like a data as well as the action. So that object is defined as is an object definition is also known as uh, a class. So uh, let me directly go into a uh, demo part for how to create a class and how we can able to add an uh, add an uh, uh, attributes like what we are we need just how to add it into the object. So just I'm going to show it. So this is a new project. Just I opened a, a creating a class from a class. I'm just giving a name as a shape. So after creating class, I just I am seeing that there will be an on shape dot control file. So from the shape dot control file, if I open that will have a cluster. It is going to be a private data of the uh, shape dot class. So in that I'm just going to place a uh, color box. Uh, so then I'm saving this uh, LV class. So now I have created a class and an object. In the object I have given the uh, data. In the class, I have uh, created a shape class and this is going to be a parent class and I have created an object. Inside the object, I have just given the attribute of uh, color box. So it's going to define the color of the shape. So this are what are the object is give, uh, created, right? That is an implementation which will not affect the other part of the programming that is called encapsulation. So this uh, uh, what are the objects we are creating that can um, objects right okay, under that we will have a multiple VAs that can be a, a level with four scopes four scope level like a public private and protected and community so public means like it will be accessible and if it is a private means it, it will be accessible only within the class and it is a, pro a protected means uh, it will be able to talk uh, about it later Sorry, I mean, I will just explain it later. So in community class means like outside the scope of the means. In the community means like it can be accessible with the uh, within the code. 
within the code mesh like with the parent class as well as with the child class so now about the inheritance like uh, now we have created a uh, parent class of a shape so for parent class we'll have a multiple child classes that it can be with like multiple child classes so uh, it like a uh, a uh, child class will be inheritance of the uh, parent class. So it will be parent class and what are the functions? This uh, methods, whatever we are using it in the child class, right? That will be inheritance with the parent class. So now I'm just going to uh, show you a demo like how to create those uh, child class and how to inheritance with the parent class. Yeah, so now I'm going to create a circle and square as a two different shapes. OK, that will be inner. That will be a child class. It will be inheritance of the parent class. So again, I'm just creating another class that is going to be a mm, circle. Mm -hmm. So I'm creating an, another child class. So that is a square. So while I'm creating, right? So by the time also we can able to select the parent class. Uh, actually, the square is going to be a parent class of a child shape so that I can able to select the shape. OK, so. Yes, so just I'm trying to create a square clone. So we can uh, able to define the we can able to define the class when we are creating or we can also I mean we can inherit with the parent class or after creating also we can able to modify that by uh, changing the properties of the class. Just I'm going to the properties and just clicking on the inheritance and just changing the parent class. So in the parent class I'm going for the shape. To identify with the different classes, just we can rename the uh, icon and for each and every class, we can have a different uh, wiring properties as well. So meanwhile, we have a protection for that class as well as we'll have an item settings for changing the wire. Customized wire, we can make it for an each and every classes. Yeah. So once we have created a inheritance, then we'll have a we'll be creating a multiple uh, methods as well as uh, accessor. So just I'm going to show a demo on that, like how to create a uh, methods as well as with accessor. First, I'm creating a. First, I'm going to create a shape with a dynamic dispatch. So this dynamic dispatch, what will happen? Like I'm just creating it for the parent class. So after creating it, so that will be nothing in the block diagram wise. So when I'm going to when I'm going to call the child class, right? By the time that will be inherited, that the uh, method VA will be overridden for the a dynamic dispatch VA. Uh, then I'm creating the accessor. Accessor means like uh, uh, whatever the data what we are storing in the object of the class that we can able to uh, read and write. So for that I'm just creating an accessor for the read and write purpose. I'm just uh, storing all the VA. So when we see it in the block diagram, just we can able to see that a shape in is a class class where the uh, 
is having the color box so that we can be uh, read and also we can able to read it from the uh, object. So now I have been explained about like how to create a parent class, then about uh, how to create a uh, child class and how to inherit with that. Then after that, we have been creating a dynamic dispatch. So dynamic dispatch VA will be creating it in the uh, parent class and will be. Uh, and I just am going to explain it like how to uh, override the. Uh, parent class from the child class. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, Sharish. Uh, there is a one question. Uh, yes, please, uh, Sharif. Can you ask your question? Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh, yeah, hi, Satish. Uh, like, just I want to know that what's the difference between that static and dynamic uh, uh, methods? Dynamic dispatch and static dispatch. Uh, if it is a static dispatch, then it can be overridden by the uh, child class. If it is a static, I mean, if it is a dynamic, it will be overridden by the child class. If it is a dynamic, if it is a static, it will not be overridden. Okay, 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 Sadish, thank you. So now I'm going to explain about how to override the uh, dynamic dispatch VA. So, so this is from uh, actually we need to create this override it from the uh, child class for overriding the uh, dynamic dispatch VA. So just going to find new and creating the wave override. So so here we can able to select the VA, which are the VAs I'm going to do an override. So here we need to do and select color as well as we need to do a read and write uh, color box. So just I'm selecting all the VAs for override. So we're based on the, our application, like what are the ways that we are going to override that alone we can able to select it. So I'm just selecting a uh, override then. So it is automatically VA scripters is running in the back end for generating those uh, access. I mean override VAs. It's like a methods for the child class and also access for the child class. Mm -hmm. So here we can able to see like uh, for square I have generated the read color box, set color as well as uh, write color box. So just I have created the VA, just I am showing the block diagram how it is, like how it is overriding. So here we can make our codes like whatever we need to do it. So just I'm going to give you an example uh, from the lab view. So, so I have created a dynamic, so same file, whatever I've shown in the video. So I have created it for circle as well as for uh, square. Uh, here what I'm doing is in the right color box, right? So just I'm given a color for that. For a circle, I have given a green. For square, I've just give uh, writing into the object. So it's a blue, just I'm writing as a blue. So basically what it happens, right? Uh, when you are writing it, so it just it is going to update it in the uh, object. So to open the sir. dynamic dispatch VA sir. inside the dynamic dispatch way just I'm pausing both ah. the classes LV class so just pausing okay. square LV class and circle LV class so just making it to a ah. array just for showing difference between like uh, sir, sir. what I'm okay. just I'm calling only the parent class here okay. Okay. Set color right, so that is a parent class. So if I go for uh, uh, circle LV class set color, just I'm passing the color as uh, green. As well as for this, I'm just passing it as the blue. So 
when i'm calling the uh, square uh, lb class so that the square lb class uh, we have created a method right that will be executor so using that accessor we are going to read the data so just going to run and show you so to understand like oh, what what are the classes we are pausing so just getting the L lb class name along so when i'm running it in the first time so when I'm running for the square LB class, just we are going to pause the square LB class. So when it is running for the circle LB class, you can see it in the probe like uh, the circle LB class is running. So this is how we can able to make use of this uh, lab whoops in the lab. LB whoops. OK, so coming back to the slides. So wax can be used, right? Like uh, when we are using multiple uh, instruments or multiple uh, devices with uh, different serial number, different make or different models, that we can have a multiple uh, multiple classes and we can able to do a development. So for example, like if you are having a, um, but with this functionality will be same. So when we have a functionality with the, for an application where we have a three different motors, so we can use the different classes for that each and every motor and we can able to add, uh, make, make use of the lab. Oops. So then for an uh, data logger application also. For doing a data read and for data write. So for that also we can able to make use of this. Uh, lab oops yeah uh, that's it from my side and is there any questions hello uh, yes yeah, Sadish. so team yeah if you have any questions to Sadish, please ask now it's time to ask questions uh, yes, it is sure. Like, uh, hello, yes, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, it is. Can you just show that, like, how to use protected and private, uh, how to make that uh, for the class? So, by default, it will be in the form of protected. I sorry, I actually have not tried that. Let me share you later. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, one more thing like. Uh, how to make that uh, front panel uh, for those like you have just shown that uh, block diagram so how to interact with the front panel? i'm not getting your question like uh, so this is a simple way yeah, this is not like a execution with a module mm -hmm. so when you are going with some development then we can make based on that application okay o okay okay so this Okay, uh, thank you, Shadish, for the wonderful presentation. So let's uh, move on to the next presentation now. So next presentation is from